been are on an emotional strike. The behavior that we're seeing with even good men now, where men are not wanting to deal with women or isolating themselves or having sex with women and not calling back, these behaviors are in a response to the fact that women are causing men to feel depleted. When a woman has masculine energy, she moves into the space in the relationship that is designated for the man, masculine space. Two people in a heterosexual relationship cannot both be in masculine space. You can look at it as yin and yang, the yin and yang symbol. You know, they're, one side is yin and the other side is yang, and they fit with each other. There cannot be two yin, two yin, or two yang. Um, in order for there to be harmony in a heterosexual relationship, one person has to have feminine energy, the other person has to have masculine energy. Most men are fully aware that women have stepped into their masculine space. They're not so worried about who's in charge. They're worried about who's taking up their space. And women have become so used to being strong and dominant that we don't realize that this thing that we have been taught through the media and since the feminist movement has been working against us for a very long time. You can look at the divorce rate and see that. You can look at the other couples who are still married who mostly hate each other and live in isolation or don't have um, peace and harmony and you can see that too. Almost every married couple in our society is in a state of stagnancy or urgency, not peace and harmony like we would like to believe. Women seem to believe that their marriages are fine. If you can describe your marriage as fine, then your husband will describe your marriage as miserable. A woman's attempt to emasculate a man will keep her from keeping a man. This is a problem. Our society is in a state of urgency. Men know that they need women, but women don't know that they need men. We need men for way more reasons than we actually know. I'd like to blame the mainstream media for making us believe that we don't need men as much as we actually do need them. In order to understand how much we really need men, you're going to have to understand men and what they want and that they really seek to please women and to make us happy. And if a man is healthy and loving and good enough to want to make you happy and that is what his purpose is and that's what he lives for, then what is so hard about following someone whose goal in life it is to make you happy? If a man does not protect his masculinity, he risks losing everything. Men seek to please their women. In the process of doing that, end up giving too much. I'm Ro, a professional expert and consultant of culture and languages. I traveled the globe to learn the truth about the cultures of men and women and the languages of love and sex, creating the book, Man Leads. Keeping the economy strong, mainstream media has us confused and against each other. But the deeply connected couples around the world teach us that the only way to keep true love is when man leads.